heard me three key hats that you must wear as a business leader. Now, when I say business leader, I'm, I, you know, it, to me, it doesn't matter if you're just if you're the sales rep. It doesn't matter to me if you're the team leader. It doesn't matter to me if you're the operations person. And it doesn't matter to me if you're the true business owner, the, the, true per, the person that signs both sides of the paycheck, that's on the hook responsible for the lease and the copiers and everything and all the equipment that goes on inside. Everybody in here, you wear three key hats every day. The first hat is pretty easy to, pretty easy to know. It's the technician hat. Why does somebody hire us to do what we do? Whether that be to make sure that their vehicle runs safely on the road, whether that is to make sure that their computers are you know, always turned on and you know, backs up and saves everything, whether that be to get the insurance policy in place to protect us or, the, or to find us our new home. That's the technician hat. That is the, you know, that is the reason people will step into their own business because they'll look at their boss and say, I, I can do this better than that nitwit. I can do that better. Or they'll look at a professional that gave them some service and they think, I can do that if that's all that it takes. That's the technician hat, and that's where a lot of people. That's the hat that a lot of people, you know, hold on to and they'll wear. The other hat that you have to wear is your entrepreneur hat. You know, when I talk to attorneys and CPAs, I refer to this as the billable hours is the technician hat. The non-billable hours is the entrepreneurial hat. Who here thinks we're here today for a conference? Clap your hands. I love this crap. There's a door. <laughs> Who here thinks we're here for a celebration? Clap your hands. Oh, come on, guys. Clap your hands. Let's, we're here for a celebration. We're business owners. You know, because we all do business with what? People we know, like, and... And if I left it there and it didn't go deep, you know, the, I, I wouldn't really truly be serving you. And I found this very ironic because when I go in and I work with, you know, sales organizations, sales teams, and I help them, de you know, develop their presentation, Think about this. We've all developed our sales pitch. We've all developed our presentation. And what do we do? We spend 100% of our time over here all on the content. And you know, that's only 7% of it. And we ignore the rest 93%. And by asking those five powerful questions of somebody that you had just met, you will, get, you will learn more. You'll get more insight on them of how, what makes them tick, of what type of business that they run. But I realized from what Dave told me was, I need to get out of my comfort zone. I need to go out and get some attention on myself. You see, things that we learn early on as kids serve us perfectly as children. And that is, children are meant to be seen, not heard. Don't get attention, don't draw attention to yourself. You know, that's really good for when we're educating America's youth. That's really horrible for when you want to get business for yourself.